nobody asked for this tutorial but I am certain that most of the people will find it useful so just bear with me for a second because in today's video I will show you how I set my buttons in Euro Truck Simulator 2 to be as useful and comfortable as possible while driving with a steering wheel as well as show you a couple of tips and tricks that I had to find myself over time. By the way the steering wheel I use is called PXN V10 and you can find the link for it down in the description. So let's just go ahead and open the settings menu then the keys and buttons menu we won't talk about keyboard configuration because the game is already set for this kind of input first thing to cover is the starting of the engine you can just set up the start stop engine only because you can use the start stop electricity by unchecking this in the gameplay menu it will start by double tapping on the binding why is this useful well it's actually pointless but it adds some realism to the game when it comes to the binding itself I usually set this button to be able to quickly reach it in multiplayer when my truck has a lot of damage and the engine constantly dies. For the parking brake I set this one but I end up using the keyboard space button anyways. I don't use any engine or trailer brake but sometimes I use the retarder. In real life you move the right stock up and down so the closest to it are these two buttons down for increase and up for decrease. For those who didn't know what the retarder is, no it's not a person driving on multiplayer, it's kind of a brake that helps not overheating the normal brakes even to the point of catching fire when driving downhill for a long time. When it comes to other features like axles, front and rear suspension or other simulator gimmicks, I suggest you bind them on the keyboard because they are rarely used and will fill up the available buttons. Now. Left and right indicators I find in the most handy and comfortable to be here, light modes on this button and light flash here. I won't bind the hazard lights because people will crush you anyways. Also I won't bind the horn cause it's too silent and rather use the air horn on this button to be loud enough. By the way for this to work you will need to fit an air horn to the truck too. But please don't overuse it because the traffic won't magically disappear, you will just make noise. When it comes to the cruise control I activate it using this button and increase or decrease the speed using these two. Now here comes a really nice tip. When I first started playing ETS 2 I set up the interior camera on a button like this then for left and right I was using the look left and look right buttons which is totally wrong because it will make your look left and look right take a few business days and still end up crashing. Instead set up the interior look left and interior look right because it will instantly turn your camera left and right then by pressing the interior camera you will reset the view forward. And that's about it. If you have any question feel free to ask it in the comment section and until the next one stay tuned.